Question, can I take my six-year-old son out of state for vacation without my ex's written consent? Here are the details. I gave a year notice, an eight month, two month, and one month notice that we had planned a trip for Disneyland this October for one week. My ex is now saying that he can't come because she is having a hard time with school and because her baby is coming due and basically she's making excuses. I've asked her to get the boys schoolwork ready for the week and I plan on giving her a full itinerary. Can I take our son on vacation without written consent from my ex if we have joint custody joint legal and physical, and it doesn't specify in the court's orders that I am barred from traveling out of state or anything like that? Answer? Well, this is a great question and one that comes up all the time. In Utah, the code section that applies to your situation is section 30-3-36, subsection 2. It reads as follows. For emergency purposes, whenever the child travels with either parent, all of the following will be provided to the other parent. An itinerary of travel dates, destinations, places where the child or traveling parent can be reached, and the name and telephone number of an available third person who would be knowledgeable of the child's location. As you can see, section 30-3-36 sub 2 does not require the other parent's consent or permission for you to travel with the child during your custodial or parent time periods. You are required to give the other parent information pertaining to when you are traveling, where you will go, and contact information for the child, but the other parent cannot prevent you from traveling with the child by withholding consent because her consent is simply not required. That's all well and good, Eric, you may say, but if she won't let me pick up the child from her house in time to get to the flight to Anaheim, my legal rights aren't any protection this weekend. True, so if you have enough time, you can file a motion for a writ of assistance, asking the court to issue an order to you and to your ex to tell her to exchange custody of the child with you on your custodial parent time day or in advance so that that can be enforced by local law enforcement, such as the police or sheriff, that can physically force your ex to turn over the child to you if need be. You will generally need at least 28 days between the day you file for the paperwork and the hearing because if you don't do that you will not get a hearing in time and you won't get an order in time you could file your motion for a writ of assistance on an ex parte basis and hope that the court is sympathetic to your plight and sees your situation as necessitating issuance of a writ immediately but that's not likely to happen thank you